so Josh, what were you saying about Sonic CD that you wanted to talk about? You don't really like the bosses? No, Sonic CD is fantastic. It's the best game in the Sonic series. I think that it's, <laughs> uh, it's the only game that even come close to beating Sonic 2 in terms of its high quality. So I love Sonic CD so much. Right, Sonic, why didn't you... Sonic 2 is shit, though. Sonic, oh yeah, Sonic 2 is like, is like uh, just a running piece of shit. Like Sonic is just a, a little fecal matter running across yeah. the stage. It's so buggy, too. Sonic 2 is fantastic. Sonic CD is fucking... Eh. It's eh. It's eh. How can you okay. say that? <laughs> it's an orgasming virgin. It's eh. <laughs> eh. What? Yeah, yeah, it's an orgasming version, so it's it's like, oh, I didn't really feel much. It just kind of hurt as the guy got <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Right. Now, we went there. <laughs> what do you mean there? Us. That's not, that's consensual love there. That's the love between a teenage this stage boy and a girl. It's the worst part of this game. R the worst part of this game? We. This is the worst part of this game. I hate this thing. So in terms of a high school drama, this is the girl that didn't want to actually do it, but felt forced to by her girlfriend. No, boyfriend. Oh, girlfriend if we want to be edgy. Stevie, your comparisons are shit. I do brill comparisons. So what don't... Is, is it just that brill? everything everything is basically a pitfall here if you aren't on Tails' plane? It's the pitfall, it's the fact that Tails' plane gets caught on every piece of scenery. It's just, if they were going to design it that way, they should have made it so the plane moved around quicker, or just gotten rid of the platforms that you jump onto. Like in Sonic 2, I love this stage because it's very easy breezy. Um, it's 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 more relaxing than this, but everything in this version of it uh, is so speedy. Like those walls that come up, you can't anticipate them half the time. Yeah. Um, so many times like, I got killed because I had no reason to even think that they're coming. Um, there's certain areas where you're forced to use your homing attacks against these turtle guys here, um, where they line them up and they like overlap one another. There's, so if you miss one, or if you hit one and you jump up in the air, another one knocks you off your course and you fall right off to the face of the earth. Um, it's just, it's so really designed. I can't stand it. Mm. It's not the earth, though. It's also really, really long. Yeah, it's kind of true. It's yeah. a whole stage, yeah. In in Sonic 2, it was an intro to a stage. Yeah, that's one of the reasons I liked it, because it, was, it, it didn't feel like a full-on aggressive stage. Like, you're actually like participating in it a lot. It's just this nice little segue between, you know, the, the previous stage just and, like, the biggest, the big, like, lead-up to the end of the game. Yeah. And sort it's of like kind the of calm a, before the storm almost. Yeah, it's kind of a turning point before the finale. And these, I never realized yeah. and we, that you have to dodge some of these and that some of the missiles are in the background. Really? Yeah, like in the Metal Sonic boss in this stage, uh, I did not know what I was supposed to be dodging and what I wasn't. See that? See that? Yeah, yeah. There's no reason you should have died there. I didn't know. I, I heard uh, on the main second podcast that you can knock the the bombs that they shoot at you back when you're facing against Sonic or Metal Sonic. I didn't know that. Yeah, you can. I just touched them. Yeah, that goes for me. There you go. I think these walls coming out of nowhere are pretty unfair, considering it takes a while for your attack to work, anyways. Are you at the end of it now? This part, this part oh, coming out right. of No, yeah, oh, this the, yeah, this part sucks. Because everything is now a pitfall. Automatically, because Tails is gone. This is what I was talking about with the turtles, where the turtles are overlapping one another. Yeah. And it's really just awkward because you don't actually want to move anywhere or experiment. Oh, fuck. I thought you were dead there. See, this is what I'm talking about. The enemies are like all on top of one another. That one up there that comes in will knock you off if you jump up too high. Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty bullshit. 
The one thing... Oh, you actually have got a few lives. It, it doesn't have the thing in Sonic Episode 1 where they threw you like a million lives. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I'm kind of confused as to why they did that. Um, in Episode 1, I think it's because of the pitfalls. It was to make up for the fact that there are so many... And the fucking end boss. Yeah, and the end boss. Fucking hell. There you go. Hey. And you're kind of and you're kind of worried to use your tails powers as well. Well, you can't use them, but later on in this stage, yeah. you're worried to use the tail powers as well. Yeah, you can hit um, back. Yeah. Kid. Yeah, this I did not know you could do that. I think that's actually how you're supposed to do it. If not, it just kind of goes on for a while. It did what go on. I think that's one of the reasons I thought the level was too long. Yeah, is maybe you didn't realize this. Yeah, just to clarify my Sonic um, CD comments, uh, I think the bosses, there are too, too many of them are built too frustratingly. Like, it's just all about overcoming one really irritating obstacle and then hit, hitting Robotnik once. Um, like the the de facto the pinball like, casino type stage. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a pinball stage. It's not really the casino, but that one's really irritating. Or the one where you're running on the treadmill. Um, yeah, that one's cool just, that one's because... just ages. Yeah, I mean it's a cool yeah, idea because it's like he, he set up a trap for Sonic that, and he's actually thought about it. That might work. Mm -hmm. And like you can see how Sonic could genuinely die in that situation. But the it's itself it's just you running. And dodging these little bombs. Yeah, just running on this treadmill and dealing with the frustrating speed of it. I... We should do a Sonic CD video and a Sonic okay. Spinball video. Yeah, let's do every Sonic game ever. Ah, let's do Sonic 06. <laughs> Sonic Labyrinth! Oh, Sonic Labyrinth Sonic... is such a shitty game. Have you played Sonic yeah, we... Labyrinth? Nope. Shitty. Sonic Sonic Spinball would be tough because you can't. It's hard to finish that game. It's That's hard to start true. that game. That I've never got. True. I've never got past the first level of Sonic. What? Spinball. I think I've gotten to the second or third, but that's it. I've completed that. It's, it's hard. No. Uh, Just doesn't the last level take do. place in a Mega Drive? No. I thought that was something. Why would it? I thought it did. It took place in like a Mega Drive or something oh, like that. No, you're in Robotnik's base. Yeah. Don't you know about the story of Sonic's Benmar? Oh yeah, it's, it's <laughs> a very deep and complex story. It is, because it's the only tie-in game with uh, Sonic's Had AM. Is it? Is, was that yeah, one based on Sonic? Really? Yeah, really? Huh? Ah, so I didn't know. I know they were making a Metal Gear Solid game out of like, if not Metal Gear Solid, like a stealth game at one point out of Sonic Saturn. Yeah, yeah, but that <laughs> really confused me there for a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're making a Metal, uh, a Metal Gear Solid with Sonic. Metal Gear Sonic. Yeah, we got Threat One, guys. Thank you, God. God, that stage is long. And now let's see more of it. Well, I, I think it, it actually is the bombs that you have to use in that situation. Yeah, but they should tell us that then. Or, yeah, have an arrow point to it or something. Yeah, it gives like one of those stupid little video HD actually, TVs I, they put up in the middle of the stage. I, I, I like this stage. A this one's not too bad. This I've one's not bad. The this third one is the really bad one. I actually have a friend who loves this stage, and it's his favorite zone of the whole thing. Which I actually, I actually quite like the first level. I think it has the same thing of like, Sonic always has a good first level. No, I disagree. Really? You don't like the first level of this game? Nope. <laughs> Why? No. Nope. I agree with Sven, it's boring. But it's a good yeah, it's intro. Underwater. It's underwater and... Yeah. I, mean, uh, I guess it is kind of underwater. But I think there's a separate path you can take. I never found it. This I found was kind, uh, of, kind of irritating but interesting at the same time when you're walking on those walls. Yep. 
Yeah, it's a cool idea. Um, it works, I guess. It's just you have to keep running, or it's not too much to me. And this whole stage is really not bad. I think I beat it the first try. I don't actually um, think there are any pitfalls here. There are. I think so. I think. A few. Well, there, uh, yeah, this bit. This bit I didn't like, because I ended up dying. So this one? Yo, oh, but then you get Tails to come help you. See, it's funny, I never... Like, I'm so used to normal Sonic gameplay that I never would think to get Tails whenever I was about to die. Yeah, really? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. I, I kept my finger on that button like a motherfucker in any section that I thought I would need him. I think that's... That, that's really... Uh, that's really what? Sorry, you're cutting out. Yeah. Robo Josh. Yeah, this is Robot Josh speaking now. He's coming from the future to um. avenge Sonic CD. <laughs> How do I sound now? How do I sound now? Because you guys are cut out for me too. Sound alright. Sound okay? Yeah. Um, no, I was saying it's, it's very interesting that you're the guy that had the big, big, big problem with pitfall level design and you were hovering on the tails button because you're waiting for more pitfall design. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Oh, there's another one of those stupid needless ring. I guess it's just for score, but score doesn't matter in a fucking Sonic game. Press the button in rings. order to win! Well, I don't think there's an order yeah. to win, because the level's still going on. It's not like it ends the level. Well, it kills a few enemies, though. Yeah, but... It is a, it's no, just it just an arbitrary do, jam yeah. the button bit, though. It doesn't do it's anything. just hit the button really fast and you'll get everything for no good reason. Yeah, I Video will admit that game. button doesn't really do anything. <laughs> Accidental 69. <laughs> That's never happened accidentally. In you're, ob you're obsessed with Sonic and Tails 69. I have one joke and I'm determined to milk it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's a joke Let that you. Joke. <laughs> I said it on the podcast once. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I do like the concept of. Uh, somebody accidentally 69ing somebody else. They're like, oh, there's Yo, a thing! It's sorry. about how do you we, do that? Yeah, uh, how, I guess uh, we better continue. Yeah, oh, we, we better roll on. There's we a pitfall! It. There's a pitfall! Yeah, yeah, but this is like yeah. if you've lost the top part of this level. It's just platforming, though. Like, it's, it's just precision platforming. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I agree. It was wrong in the first game, I thought, because the first game controlled horribly. And the physics well, the first game also doesn't it doesn't give you the first one doesn't give you prompts it doesn't tell you when you're gonna die which is course and I that's that's one big difference that I noticed with generations and this is they started putting up signs everywhere where you're gonna die yeah that's my oh I, I like this stage too really yeah I hate, I hate this stage too Okay. But what, you hate Sonic fine. CD, so there's that. What do you what do you hate about this stage? I don't hate Sonic CD every time. Every time I kind of dislike something, I get interpreted. Yeah, you hate Sonic CD. Um, you hate Bears God. You hate Juno. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um. Uh. No, this stage, like this whole, whole laser, this laser thing is ridiculous. Um. Well, it's, it's, taken awesome. it's, constant. it's taken directly from Sonic Three and Knuckles. Yeah, and it's awesome. It's fine, it's fine. It just it happens constantly. There's so many times it happens in this stage, it's just not necessary. And there's one time where it happens and it lasts for like 10 seconds, and there's no need for it to happen that much. Um, there's certain platforms in this stage that if you miss them, you're basically screwed. Um, though, I guess also you, if you use Tails, you're okay. Um, I've got to learn to use Tails. I should play this again and use Tails more often. <laughs> but. Yeah, I just really don't like the stage. I kept dying like over and over and over while playing it. I think Can I'm you actually good. play as Tails? Did like on his own? I don't think so. Ah, uh, no, I don't think so. See, that's the thing that Sonic and Knuckles introduced that I liked. Yeah, I love Sonic and Knuckles. It's my favorite Sonic. Yeah, I really, I really like that you like it so much. It's such an underrated Sonic. It doesn't get talked yep. about enough. It's like it has all the, the best. Good cover up. Yeah. 
Also, it lock has, on my... technology. Yeah, but it, it has the. I think it has the best visual design of any of the original uh, 2D Sonics. I think it's really, really beautiful game. Yep. Well, that's the bit. If we're going back to Sonic CD, if we're talking about a game that doesn't know what to do with its visual design, that is one of them. That game has no idea what you know palette or tone it's going for. Really? Yeah. It's. That's it has... Actually, Sonic CD is the one. That's the one thing I do like about. Or that's the not the one thing, but it's the thing so I like the most. So you do about. hate it? No, it's it's the, it's the thing I like most about Sonic CD is the fact the visual design is so different. It is kind of ugly, but it's got it's got it's very very bright and colorful and all over the place, and I appreciate it for that. It's super garish. I don't think uh... it, I don't know. Maybe I just have no visual. I, maybe I have no, no uh, sense of fashion, Steve. <laughs> no, I think. Uh, don't you think? Yeah, but it has like pastel colors. I like it. It has so many like, just bright, kind of almost. Um, oh, what was his name? Fluorescent. Fl kind, yeah, kind of fluorescent type lights, and they all clash. And it doesn't. It's not in. All the zones are all in these different wacky colors with stripes and zigzags all over the place, and it never. I like it because it's different, but at the same time, I'm I kind of think it's really unnecessarily confusing in that game. I like it a lot. I just I like how all over the place it is. Um, yeah, yeah. I do like garish if, things. I just think it, at some points in that game it gets a bit too much. I like, disagree. I but I prefer the past stages in that game because the past yeah. stages go. They go much more subtle with the design of the level. I wish they just stayed in the past. I think that that time travel thing is so arbitrary and bullshit. And I no. think the way you have to initiate it, the way you have to initiate it is completely ridiculous. You are yeah. just so wrong. I, I don't see any point with the time travel either, to be there fair. There it is. You're changing the stream of time thingy. Yeah, but it doesn't actually. It doesn't. The levels don't. You're right, Sven. I lose. You're right. I I love Sonic CD. Now you really. You just. You just destroyed my my entire. Yeah, life. yeah, yeah. Josh is gonna like Gino you, now. You can change. You can change the look of future levels by doing certain things in past. But it, is, it is only cosmetic. No, it isn't. Yeah, it's cosmetic. There are just, there are less new... enemies in the future settings if you are changing certain things in the past. Yeah, but, but they're not to... less less to a point where it's it really changes the the difficulty it or does. makes it easier for fun to play. But it really does. You have to you have to really look up the comparison videos. There is quite a bit that changes. And it's, is it really worth it to go through this whole animation when you're flying through the sky and yeah. you have to run at like consistent pace when the level design is set up to make it go backwards all the damn time? It's totally worth it. I really enjoyed it. I really, I mean, I don't hate it by any means. It is, it's got some really good moments. There's certain state, like I really like uh, Stardust Speedway quite a bit. That's um, yeah, that's one of my favorite levels in Sonic. Yeah, I, like yeah. period. You know what's that funny? Really good. What? You know what's really funny? What? We are doing a commentary in Sonic 4 Episode 2, and it's actually the game we talk at le the least about. No, I don't. I don't. I think Sonic CD is an important point because this game was marketed heavily on the back of Sonic CD. Yes, but that's because yeah. Sega is silly. No, I think I think it's very smart because a lot of people loved Sonic CD. So making a game, or at least advertising a game like, hey, this is Sonic CD 2, I think is very clever advertising-wise. Actually, this is the bit I call "Watch Me Die" all over again for 10 minutes straight. No, do you guys do you not like this boss? This boss is bullshit. Yeah, it's the worst boss in the game by far. Not a fan of it. Do you think it's the worst boss in the game? Yeah. I don't think personally. I, I I'm not really sure. Um, it's the worst as in it's the cheapest, but it's not the worst in terms of design. I think there's some other bosses that are more boring, um, less interesting. Um, I, I tend to like the chasing after Metal Sonic uh, bosses. I don't know why. Mm. Let, let's just say I like the concept, but I dislike the execution. Yeah. Like, I don't know how you're supposed to hit him when he's down there. Yeah, you, I don't think you do. I think only when he's upside down, right here. I think you can. I think I've done it once. Ooh, you've done it once. Yeah, yeah, exactly. 
Stevie's not a hitting Sonic, Metal Sonic over the head virgin. He's done it once. <laughs> yeah, I've I, I rode Metal Sonic. <laughs> His, he he was spurting oil for weeks, blood. Oh my god. You broke his, his oily hymen. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is what this is what this series of playthroughs should be called Sonic 4 Episode 2 Oily Hymen. <laughs> For, uh, part one was Ride into Madness, this is Oily Hymen. I wanna thank you guys for uh, inviting me to be on this commentary. <laughs> Oh, is that is that sarcasm? No, I'm actually really thankful. I was I was flattered that you uh, invited me. Well, after we taunted you for a whole video series, we thought we might as well give you a chance. <laughs> well, I still want to say fuck you. So. <laughs> fuck you. Yeah, yeah. Thank yeah, when you told me that you liked Sonic Episode Four on Facebook, Stevie, I I was laughing. Well, Episode Two. Oh, that's my man, episode two. Yeah, Sonic 4 episode two. You were like, you know what? You're gonna like this, Josh. I liked episode two, and you thought I, I liked it too, and I was, I can't wait to talk about this. Oh, uh, Jesus. Then again, yeah. we're not that far apart, apparently, if you think of it in terms of grades, so. Yeah. Well, I, I, as I said, for a Sonic fan, it's a good game to play. It's just above average. It isn't, like, it isn't gut wrenchingly horrible. Yeah. Doesn't give you explosive diarrhea, so there's that. Half of Sonic games do do that, so... Yeah. Especially Sonic 2. I'm still trying to overcome the AIDS from uh, Sonic Episode 6. So... Or not Episode 6, Sonic Episode 6. 6. <laughs> so, have you... Have you, um... Have, I think Josh is, like, tight with Sega. He, he, You played this game ages ago. You're on Episode 6 now. Yeah, being reviews editor for Sega Addicts has its perks. What's Episode 6 like? Who's in that one? Uh, the new, a new character called... Sp Spike and he's a armadillo. Oh no, they, they already did an armadillo. Uh, what animal have they not done yet? Anteater. A dinosaur. Yeah, an anteater. Dinosaurs aren't animals. Dinosaurs are an entire class of animals. Oh shit! Yeah, don't, don't, not animals. don't spend because we got Mr. Jurassic Park here. I, my mom uh, and I have a constant argument. She's convinced that birds don't count as animals. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry, I have sorry. This, yeah, okay, I think it's okay, so, so funny. Let's let's stop with the Sonic 4 talk for a moment. I just your mom not think that birds are animals. She she doesn't come up with the with the debate. She just says that there 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 are birds and then there are animals. I'm like that's horseshit. So wait, it's just every single thing that has wings is a bird. A falcon yeah. is a bird. An owl is a bird. It's they both aren't animals. They're not animals to her. I don't, I don't understand where she got this from. What, a, so, what, what a are fish then? Yeah, penguins are birds. Penguins yeah. are animals. So what, are fish, what are fish then? Well, I said to her, what are dinosaurs? Because dinosaurs evolved from birds. Or, I'm sorry, what are dinosaurs? Dinosaurs. <laughs> birds evolved from dinosaurs. Yeah. So, so does that mean dinosaurs aren't animals? I, that, I find that funny. Sorry, yeah, I don't no. speak dinosaur. That's brilliant. Is that, is, is that like like a parody of creationism or something? Because if it is, it is brilliant. <laughs> yeah, birds. Yeah, yeah. God, it's in the Bible. Birds are not animals. In yeah. Genesis. Yeah, uh, and it also says that predators are unnatural. So, <laughs> reference to something that hasn't come out yet. I was just gonna say, no one's gonna get that. Yeah, yeah. Alien vs. Predators. Yeah, everyone. He <laughs> got <God> hates birds. <laughs> They're natural, yeah. Oh fuck! Do you have to do this boss again? Well, there are still four minutes on this video, so it at least twice. I think I, I think I um beat this boss the first time I played it. To be honest with you, not to brag or anything. You know, you know I'm the best person. Well, so. I, 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 I think, I think nobody should listen to you because you hate Sonic City. And I don't hate Sonic, Sonic CD! Ben, what's your opinion on Juno? What? <laughs> ben, what's your Stevie, opinion? I, I once told Stevie that I, I don't like Juno because it's so obsessed with being indie. And ever since he's convinced that I think Juno is like the bane of the world. It's like the <laughs> worst thing that's ever existed. <laughs> worst, yeah, there's there's um, there's 9-11 and then there's the release of Juno. What's Juno? <laughs> what do you mean? Have I you love you, Sven. 
Oh, that's awesome. Sven, have you not seen Juno? What's Juno? Uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's the next Sonic game. Sonic, <laughs> Sonic, Sonic is four. pregnant. He's a preteen pregnancy. Yeah, Sonic 4 episode Juno. Sonic's a dude. He can't be pregnant. Sonic is, um, Ellen Page is the new, um... Is it like kid. Junior? The one with I was just gonna say, it's, it's... Junior, yeah. It's a combination of Juno and Junior. Oh. Ju Juno, awesome. yeah. Juno, Juno, yeah. Juno versus Junior. Juno, Junior versus Juno. That's my film coming up. Did you know your belly has a baby in it? That's what it is. Do you know what would be a good film? Juno versus Twins. Danny DeVito, Ellen Page, and Arnold Schwarzenegger in one movie. Yeah, fighting it out like the Hunger Games. Man, this boss. How does d this even work? It's so annoying because there are so many... Because his plane gets caught in so many things, you can die and not just do anything. You just have to wait until you fall off screen. Yep. yep. There's a few of those situations in this game. There's so many where it's just like, okay, if you miss this, you just have to wait for your death. You have no choice. Hmm. Yeah, like the walrus thing we said before. Yeah. The walrus thing, there's one platform in the stage that we were just watching while we were yelling at each other about Sonic CD, um, where if you miss the platform, you die. And I hate that it takes so much... You have to, it takes so much to build up to getting close to him as well. Yeah. Yeah. But... And why wouldn't what you just did that should have hit him? Yeah, it should. But then again, a game should be fun. Oh, I think snap. It, I think it is quite fun. I don't think this bit is fun, but I think there are levels that... Believe it or definitely... not, but I actually damaged my controller during the filming of this Let's Play. <laughs> really? When? Yeah. Uh, on the final boss, which is going to take 28 minutes too. Oh, fuck. The final boss, I, I have a confession to make, guys. I never I never finished the final boss. Whoa, you haven't beat it. You, don't, you can't review this. You haven't beaten it. I didn't, I didn't put my review in there. My review's not in the main review. Oh, is that I cut it out because it was so long. Yeah, I and did you, it. And you yeah. have played the game. Yeah, I haven't played it at all. That's what that. Yeah, means. yeah. The sad thing is, there's people out there that truly believe that. But if you haven't finished it, then you haven't played it. Well, either way, on to the next part. What is the hook that's going to lead them to it? Well, you still haven't talked about that fucking baby. Oh yeah, it is Chris Kanegis. Somehow, so this is I'm another... not surprised. This is another Junior sequel. Yeah, yeah, Junior 2 Chris Kanegi. I like how he's become the go-to guy for any mystery on the site. Oh, by the way, Chris Kanegi on uh, the Dreamcast uh, third-party games, uh, I just recently listened to that and Chris Kanegi called me a psychopath, so thanks, Chris. Yeah, we'll do, yeah we'll do more Chris Kanegi bashing in the next episode. Listen out <laughs> for that one, folks. Fucking killed John.